Hello guys and welcome to today's 800k squad builder. So in today's episode I'll be building an amazing squad builder for you guys to use. So yeah, let's get into this. So just say at the beginning this squad does transform into the 4231 formation. So yeah. So in goal we do start off with 89 inform Handanovic. Now this is an all-round amazing card when it comes to the diving, reflexes, handling, positioning, uh, quite average kicking and speed, but with the basic chemistry style will we'll boost it quite a lot. The basic will give him 99 diving, 90 or 99 reflexes, 97 handling, 64 speed, 81 kicking and 99 positioning. On a 6 foot 4 goalie with long throw which is great for counter attacks. Um, and team player, which means uh, people do make more runs for him. This is a great card. And for 52k, I think this card is an absolute bargain, considering there are some goalies out there which are definitely not worth the money you're paying for them. At right back, we go for the cheapest player in the team. Uh, Prem, Portugal, and we go for Jao Cancelo. We go for the basic uh, version just for the price range that I've... Uh, set myself so six foot great height for a fullback high medium work rates which is the average work rates for a fullback uh, great pace average passing but always great uh, crossing on a fullback they always have or more or less always have great crossing uh, great dribbling average defending and physical uh, but for 8k you can't go wrong and for with an uh, for him with an anchor uh, that would just be a great all round solid card for especially 8k so I highly suggest him. At right centre back, we go to back. I mean, obviously, um, we do go to Inter, and we do go for 87 De Vrij. Obviously, you can go for Skriniar, or even I do suggest using Tots Godin, just because how much of a beast he is. But for 44k, I think this card is out of this world. Six foot two, medium high work rates, which is great. 70 pace which is actually quite slow but 90 defending and 78 physical and the thing I always find on centre backs is that their stamina always drags them down when on a centre back stamina doesn't really matter so he does have great physical stats it's just the stamina makes it look rubbish. Uh, with a shadow which I'd highly suggest or even an anchor if you want to boost the jumping for 44k you will not be able to beat this guy on price to player value range or whatever you want to call it 85 reactions and 86 composure as well so yeah definitely either a shadow which i highly suggest or an anchor if you want to boost the jumping for 44k solid now the center back that we're going to use i do change his position in game so don't be worried about how small he is and we do have nandez now i don't know if so yeah, 84 pace. I mean, obviously, as I said, 5 for 8, but I do change his position in-game. So 5 for 8, low high work rates, 84 pace, 84 defending, and 88 physical. Uh, just, I mean, he's an actual great centre-back. It's just his height, obviously, that lets him down. 84 pace, I mean, you can't really beat that on a centre-back um, for 23k anyway. 84 defending... All round amazing, it's just the slide tackle lets it down a bit, and the physical is honestly just his stamina. Um, he does for five for eight, he does actually have quite low jumping, uh, obviously, great stamina, uh, okay strength for an eight, uh, five for eight player, honestly, 82 strength and 92 aggression, which is like Kante style aggression. He does have great dribbling as well, which is Kante-esque when it comes to the agility and balance. And as I said, for 23k, I mean, yeah, great card. At left back, we do completely switch leagues. And we do go for, I think you can tell who this is already. We do go for Alaba. Now, obviously, you can use his inform, which is a left wing back. Or you can use any German or Bayern left back so you can use winter refresh Schultzer if you can afford him but yeah great all round centre back average pace honestly uh, great passing when it comes to the crossing even free kick accuracy and great shot power uh, average dribbling when it comes to the agility and balance um, and dribbling itself uh, 
okay defending. I mean, all round, yet again, average and average physical. So it's like an average all round stat card. Um, with an anchor, it would. I'd highly suggest that just to boost his strength, aggression, and jumping, and his pace. Or if you just want to focus on the pace, definitely go for just a shadow. But for 18k, you can't really go for a better and cheaper card than this guy. 5 for 11 as well, great height and medium medium work rates, which means he isn't always pushing up, uh, but sometimes you probably might get caught out um, getting back as well. But still, great card. So yeah, I highly suggest that for 18k. At right wing, we do go straight back to the Premier League. And I think you guys know who this is. I mean, out of the few choice you've got, I mean, you don't really... Uh, we do have Hopefully, road to the final. Yeah, road to the final. Mares, um, five foot ten, which is an average height, but the smaller the better on forwards usually, just because that means they're more agile, as you can see with ninety five agility. Five star skill moves, which is great for obviously skillers, which I am not, and four star weak foot, which is a great asset to have on a on on a forward. Medium medium work rates, which means he might not like be there sometimes, but he probably will with his attack positioning of 87. Uh, left foot, and he does have the, the finesse shot trait with 90 curve. So, yeah, you can't really go wrong. Average pace, but with a hunter or a catalyst or an engine or something like that, you can boost. Um, probably a hunter just because of how lobby's attack positioning is and finishing for this stage in the game. But, yeah, all round great passing when it comes to the vision, crossing, free kick accuracy, short pass, long pass, and curve. Especially the curve, as I said, with the finesse shot trait, you can't beat. 95 agility, 89 balance, 93 ball control, and just the rest of the dribbling sets are just amazing. I mean, obviously, he does lack like physical, but when you've got a player of this caliber and the great pace dribbling and shooting, and passing, uh, you don't really need to care about the physical. And for 70k, I think this is an absolute bargain, considering Road to the Final Sancho is 140k, and arguably has worse stats than this guy. So yeah, highly suggest that you go out and get this guy. At left mid, I guess, I mean, you can already guess, oh, considering the clues that I gave on Alaba, you can almost already guess this. We are using 87 at Man the match, Champions League, Gnabry, or Nabry, or however you want to say it. 92 pace, 86 shooting, 80 passing, and 89 dribbling. An okay strength for a player of 5 foot 9. 4 star skill, uh, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, which is obviously great on a forward. Um, I don't use a forward usually unless they have 4 star weak foot, so yeah, that's critical for me. 5 foot 9, high medium work rates, which means they're always up there um, in the box. 92 pace, average for a uh, winger, uh, 86 shooting, I mean 86 attack positioning, quite low for this stage in the game, uh, 84 finishing yet again quite low, but the shot power and long shots is great. Average passing, I mean average vision, great crossing, I mean you don't really need to care about crossing in this game do you, because you don't score no headers. Great short pass, but quite low long pass and curve. Uh, great dribbling when it comes to the agility, balance, reactions, ball control, especially dribbling. That is a great standout stat for this card. And 80 composure. I definitely suggest using a, um, I don't know really, a hunter or maybe a hawk of some sort. Maybe if you don't really care about the pace and you're happy with the pace, maybe a dead eye. But that's up to you. I'll leave that to you. And for about, where is he? For about 92k, I mean, he has risen 20k in the last probably like three hours, but still, great winger, great card, especially for the Bundesliga. Now, at, less, at central centre mid and soon to be CDM, we do have, I mean, I don't know if you can tell by Nandes being in the team, but we do have, why is he not showing up? Midfielders, here he is. We do have 87 9 Golem. Now, this guy's got a, a great orgasmic, which I say almost once an episode, orgasmic card. It comes 78 pace, quite average, but 90 attack positioning, 90 shot power, and 92 long shots. He does lack the finishing, but when you're playing him at CDM, it doesn't really matter. Uh, 81 vision, all round 
out of this well passing when it comes to the short pass and long pass. Does lack the curve crossing and vision, but still. Uh, dribbling has okay average agility. Um, and yeah, you can just see the greenness in the dribbling, or well, all the card really, when it comes to the balance, reactions, ball control, dribbling, composure, 90 interceptions, defensive awareness, stand tackles, 94 slide tackle, which is ridiculous, 78 jumping, I mean 93 stamina, so you don't really need to worry about taking this guy off at half time, 79 strength and 92 aggression, and only 70k, you'd be expecting to pay, like, this is Hullet-esque, you'd be expecting to pay, like, a million coins, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, fed up of saying great, and a ballistic card, let's say, high, high work rates as well, which means you will be getting up and down the pitch, five foot nine, but, yeah, I do suggest using... Since he's a CDM, an anchor just to boost the jumping strength and the rest of the pace and defending. But still, for 70k, you cannot go wrong. At right, or right CDM, or centre back even, uh, we do have special. We do have flashback Vitzel, which I myself have actually completed. I mean, this is Hullet Gang. I mean, for 140k, you are literally getting Hullet. Uh, especially, I mean, apart from the work race and the uh, five star week, but you are basically getting Hullet. Six foot one, medium high work rates, four star, four star. Uh, I mean, I can just let the card stand out itself. I don't really need to say anything for this. Uh, defending, physical. Yeah, as I said, I'll just shut up about this card because. It's just really ridiculous. I'll let you pause it and look at it yourself because I can't say how good this card is. It's mind blowing, uh, especially for 140k. You are getting Hullet, like ridiculous. He is better than nine at Golan. That's how good this card is. Uh, this is the one of uh, the best SBC price for player value whatever you call it i've actually seen on this game it's outrageous how good this card is with the 99 composure short pass so yeah i'll just move on i'll let you ridiculous at uh, left striker at uh, left uh, cam soon to be striker we do have uh striker i think you can i mean it's a version of this card because i mean these cards are kind of ridiculously expensive but we do have guys at left striker or at left cam slash central striker in game we do have harlan now this guy is a crazy card when it comes to the pace dribbling shooting passing and physical six foot four with 90 pace 93 strength and you're probably thinking oh he's got rubbish agility and balance but with the sniper it boosts his agility up to about 88 at least and his balance up to about 83 or 82 so yeah just a ridiculous card and for 124k this is a ridiculous card you'd be expecting to pay for this on an icon it'd be at least 500k um 91 pace 93 attack positioning 95 shot power the ones that, that I love the most on this card is the 99 curve. Could you imagine, like, long shots on this game at OP? I think everyone can agree that. You're running through on goal and you just curve it top left corner with this guy on his left foot. You just be, the, like, yeah, it's just, this card is kind of AIDS. Um, 86 reactions, 88 ball control, 86 dribbling, 93 composure. As I said, the agility and balance. Definitely use either an engine or a sniper on this guy. 77 jumping, but when you're 6 foot 4, 77 jumping isn't really a problem. 81 stamina, 93 strength and 90 aggression on a 6 foot 4 player are just ridiculous. And as you see there, he does have the trait finesse shot. Uh, so yeah, for 124k, I highly suggest him. And our uh, cam in game slash striker here is so guys our cam in game and striker here is croissant 
So I say croissants in like croissant. Six foot four, medium high, me, um, medium, medium work rates, uh, right footed, 95 pace, 93 shooting with 98 attack positioning, 87 passing with 92 short pass, long pass, 90 agility, 91 balance, 91 reactions, 95 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 90 composure, and 94 strength. When have you, I said this about one of the players in my past squad builders, you never get pace, dribbling, and physical like together. It's usually pace, dribbling, no physical. Pace, no dribbling, physical. But this card is the complete card for end game now wherever he's got pace he's got the agility balance ball control dribbling and he's got the 94 strength on a six foot player i mean he does cost 160k but in my opinion this guy is definitely worth it um so yeah this is the 160k squad builder guys um 100 and 80k squad builder, oh, oh, 800k squad builder, and in game we switch to the 4231. Uh, I play Nandez at CDM, I play Mares on the left, Croissant at Cam, Nabri on the right, Haaland up front, Bitzel at centre back with De Vry. You can play Nandez at centre back if you want, or you can play Raja 9 Golan. At centre back and at Witzel work CDM, it's up to you. But I preferably, preferably would play uh, Witzel at centre back with Nandes on the right and Nigolan on the left. I'd have my full backs on stay back while attacking, my CDMs on six cover centre, cut passing lanes, and stay back while attacking. The cam on stay forward and stay on edge of box for cross. The wingers on stay forward and get into box for cross, and the striker. On getting behind and stay forward. Thanks for watching. I'll leave a link to my Instagram below where I post a uh, squad builder um, in game summaries and links and things like that. Um, so, yeah, please subscribe, like, turn post notifications on, and check my Instagram in the description below. And peace.